What is going on guys, Willis Gaming here. Just a quick thing before the video begins, to celebrate the launch of Destiny 2 Forsaken, I am giving away a digital deluxe edition of the game. All you have to do to enter is like the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you subscribe to the channel with bell notifications turned on. Also, don't forget to enter through the link in the video description, it's at the very top. Enter through there as well so all of your entries are counted. That's how I'm going to be choosing the winner. So in the Digital Deluxe Edition, what do you get? You pretty much get the Annual Pass, the Awoken Legend set, and the Cade's Exotic Stash. So definitely go and enter. It literally takes seconds and you can get yourself a free edition of the game. So yeah, I'll see you guys in this video. What is going on guys? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Destiny 2 video. In this video guys we're going to be taking a look at all of the exotics coming in Destiny 2 Forsaken. So if you don't like spoilers now is your chance to click away. Um, we're going to be covering all of the exotic weapons and all of the exotic armor pieces for each class. There's four. But yeah if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button. If we could reach 2000 likes on this video that would be awesome. And if you haven't done so already guys make sure to turn them bell notifications on if you're a new subscriber. So with that being said let's jump straight into it. We're going to start off here with the exotic armor pieces and if any of you want to actually take a look at these um, exotics in depth um, light.gg is an awesome website um, they update their database pretty much um, all the time so whenever there's like new items out you can just jump on the database and have a look at all these new uh, items so uh yeah, let's start off with this exotic titan helmet called the One-Eyed Mask. The exotic perk is called Vengeance. Marks the enemy that dares to damage you. Track down and destroy your enemy for increased damage and an overshield. So this is obviously a PvP, I guess, exotic. You can kind of use it in PvE, but this is probably going to have the most effect in PvP. Pretty cool. You get an overshield. Very, very cool. Next, we have the Ursa Furiosa, the exotic titan gauntlet. So, uh, the exotic pick is called Ursine's Guard, and it is move faster while guarding with sentinel shield is active. Guarded damage converts to super energy when the super ends. So, this is going to be really cool for people who actually play sentinel and who actually block, because now blocking is going to give you super energy back. Uh, definitely pretty cool. Um, I don't know what the cap is. Maybe if you take... A ton of damage maybe you can even get your super back again but i doubt it pretty cool moving on we have the heart of inmost light and um, this is an exotic titan chest piece the exotic perk is called overflowing light using a grenade melee or barricade ability empowers you granting increased damage and resistance while empowered the next ability you use has faster regen so that's pretty cool you can kind of use your grenades to reduce the cooldown on your melee or use your melee to reduce the cooldown on your grenade or maybe your barricade on the cooldown of your grenade so it's kind of just like use one get more energy for the other i kind of like it it's pretty cool moving on now we have the antius wards exotic titan legs we've seen this in one of the trailers it's called reflective vents improved sliding sliding reflects incoming projectiles reflecting projectiles grants super energy so obviously as you saw in the trailer the titan pretty much slid and he basically reflected a rocket back at his enemy and by doing this he is granted super energy so that's awesome pretty cool titan exotics overall now we're going to move on to the hunter the exotic pieces for the hunter we've got the oath keeper so the exotic perk here is adamantine brace bows charge faster and charges can be held indefinitely so i guess that's kind of cool but it's kind of unfair to like titan and warlock the hunters are kind of the ones who are going to be able to basically make the most use out of bows i guess they're hunters it makes sense but uh this exotic is going to help a ton with uh, bow users so that's pretty cool um, next we've got the Shards of Galanor. Um, these are exotic hunter gauntlets and the exotic pick is called Sharp Edges. Hits and kills with Blade Barrage will return super energy after the super ends. So uh, Blade Barrage is pretty much, I'm guessing, the golden gun shuriken knife things where you basically throw them. So hits and kills with that will return super energy after the super ends. So that's pretty insane. Next, moving on, we've got the Gwisin Vest. Uh, this is an exotic hunter chest piece. The exotic pick is called Roving Assassin. Each Spectral Blades kill you make before going into stealth will restore more of your super energy. So Spectral Blades is the void uh, super, which is awesome. So if you make a kill before going into stealth, it will restore more of your super energy. So that's nice. Um, next, we've got the Six Coyote. This is an exotic hunter chest piece. And the exotic pick is called Double Dodge. Pretty simple. You get a double dodge. 
Nice. Moving on now to the Warlock. We've got the Controverse Hold. And these are exotic Warlock gauntlets. The exotic pick is called Chaotic Exchanger. Charging your grenade with Chaos Accelerant Consume or Radioactive will give damage resist. Charge grenade hits return a random amount of grenade energy. So pretty much, if you didn't know, Warlocks can essentially charge some of their grenades. They can consume their grenades if you're a Void Walker. And I think Radioactive is a new ability you get for the Arc class. I'm not entirely sure, but by doing this, um, you can get a random amount of grenade energy back. So that's cool. Moving on, we've got the Chromatic Fire. This is an exotic Warlock chest armor piece. Um, I'm pretty sure we saw this in the trailer as well. So the exotic pick is called Crystalline Transistor. Precision kills with your kinetic weapon create an explosive damage in the element of your equipped subclass. So pretty much getting precision kills with your kinetic weapon will make an explosion. If you're a Void Walker, it's obviously going to be Void. Uh, if you're Arc subclass, it's just going to be Arc. So it makes sense like that, I guess. Um, moving on now, we've got the Phoenix Protocol Exotic Chest Piece. Um, this is for the Warlock once again, and the exotic pick is called Battle Heart. Kills and assists you make while standing in your Well of Radiance return super energy. So obviously the Well of Radiance is the thing you put down on one of the new subclasses. And by doing this, kills and assists you making it will give you super energy back. So if you're able to infinitely keep generating your super back, that's going to be pretty nuts. And then finishing up with the last exotic piece, the Geomag Stabilizers. These are exotic leg armor pieces for the Warlock. And the exotic pick is called Close Enough. When Chaos Reach super energy is almost full, sprinting tops it off. Damaging enemies with Chaos Reach extends its duration. So obviously that's for one of the new supers. Um, is it for the void one? I'm pretty sure. Now we're going to move on to the weapons, guys. So uh, if you want to take a look at any more of the armor pieces, just uh, scroll back through the video. And unfortunately, we don't have any pictures yet because this is um, stuff that's on the database and it's not technically meant to be shown yet. So they haven't released any of the pictures yet. But it seems like most of the weapons have been shown, so that's cool. Starting off, we've got the Cerberus plus one. We've saw this plenty of times. It's an exotic or a rifle. Here's all the perks on screen right now if you want to take a look at them. Unfortunately, I'm not going to go over all of the perks. So if you want to take a look at what perks uh, these weapons have, you can just pause the video, take a look at the uh, stats and stuff like that. And bear in mind, this probably is subject to change if they do want to do some last minute tuning. Um, next, we've got the Wish Ender. This is an exotic combat bow. Um, the exotic pick is called Queen's Wrath. While aiming down sights with a fully drawn bow, enemies behind walls are highlighted. We saw this in one of the trailers. It looked pretty nuts. So I'm definitely going to have to try and get that and uh, show you guys some gameplay. Because having a wall hack is going to be pretty nuts. Uh, next, we've got the Ace of Spades. Obviously, this is a returning exotic from Destiny 1. Uh, the exotic pick is called Memento Mori. Reloading after a kill loads the magazine with a few extra damage bullets. Grants radar while aiming down sights. That's actually pretty cool. And obviously, you got Firefly. Good old Firefly. Uh, next, we've got the Malfeasance. I hope I said that right. It's an exotic hand cannon. And the exotic pick is Explosive Shadow. Shoot tainted slugs that burrow into the enemy. Stacking enough slugs causes them to explode. So kind of like a more dangerous Firefly. We don't have to be that accurate, I guess. Pretty nuts. And here we go. We've got the Chaperone. This is a returning exotic from Destiny, the Taken King. This is a precision uh, slug shotgun, which essentially it means it fires a single slug precision round it's a tex mechanica uh, shotgun so obviously it's got that cool reload we all know and love and obviously the road bin pick precision kills briefly grant bonus handling rage and precision damage with this weapon um it's pretty cool to see it come back the chaperone everyone loves this freaking weapon uh glad to see it making a return uh, next we've got the trinity ghoul another exotic bow um, the exotic pick on this is called Split Electron. Fires an arrow that splits when released. Aiming down sights and fully drawing the bow both decreases the spread. So kind of like, I guess, a shotgun bow? Pretty cool. Uh, lightning Rod. The pick is Precision Kills. Grant the next shot to chain lightning capabilities. That's, uh, that sounds very like a shotgun, sort of like Risk Runner bow. Pretty interesting. Um, Lord of Wolves. The Lord of Wolves is making a return. We've got Shrapnel Launcher, fires a powerful short range burst of solar damage. And obviously you've got the release the wolves, defeating an enemy, doubles the number of projectiles per burst for a short period of time. I'm pretty sure that's a new pick. I don't remember that being on the original Lord of Wolves, but obviously Lord of Wolves came with um, one of the expansions in D1. 
uh, House of Wolves, so it's good to see it uh, coming back, I guess. Definitely wasn't a gun I used a lot, but I know a lot of people love the Lord of Wolves at one point, and that's all I saw in Crucible at one point, so hopefully it isn't as OP as it used to be. Uh, next, we've got the Wave Splitter Exotic Trace Rifle. Um, the exotic pick is called Harmonic Laser. Laser damage has three power levels that oscillate while the trigger is held down. Laser damage has three power levels that oscillate while the trigger is held down. That sounds really like, I don't know, that sounds weird. I have to see that in action on how that actually works. Uh, we've got supercharged battery. Collecting an orb of light grants a short period of maximum power that starts with an automatic reload. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. I, I definitely want to see this in action because it sounds like something that could be like insanely OP if you have like a bunch of orbs, I guess. Uh, next, we've got the 1000 Voices. This is an exotic fusion rifle. The exotic pick is called Ahamkara's Eye. Charging this weapon unleashes a giant continuous beam of death. What more could you ask for? Pretty much. Um, another pick is Unforeseen Repercussions. The weapon's beam superheats its targets upon impact, causing delayed explosions. Um, we saw this uh, in the trailer and it looked nuts. Uh, we got the Queen Breaker. The Queen Breaker is coming back. An exotic linear fusion rifle. Uh, exotic pick is Wire Rifle. Fires a long range precision arc bolt that blinds enemies on hit. Hip fire grip. Ergonomic grips that increase accuracy and stability when firing from the hip. Um, yeah, everyone loves the Queen Breaker. Glad to see it making a return. A bungee lazy adding old exotics. Probably. But uh, moving on, we've got Two Tailed Fox. We saw this in the trailer once again. It fires one void and one solar uh, rocket that track to the same target. Uh, we've got play with your prey. The void rocket suppresses enemies. The solar rocket causes damage over time. That's pretty cool. And then finishing up with the last exotic coming in Forsaken. The Black Talon Exotic Sword. Press to fire off a projectile cross combo. Tireless Blade. Powered Sword Kills Grant Sword Ammo. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, pretty much a sword that fires a projectile. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the exotics coming in Forsaken. Will there be more added? Probably. Is it more missing? Probably. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely drop a like. Don't forget to turn on them post notifications, guys. I'm going to bring you guys a bunch of videos when Forsaken is released. This has been Willis Gaming, guys. I will see you in my next video. And peace.